Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been uh, talking about uh, olefin polymerization in particularly polyethylene and uh, polypropylene uh, polymerization and we have been uh, looking at it from the perspective of uh, uh, catalyst development uh, uh, for this polymerization process uh, as a course of time. In this context we have uh, observed that for uh, both for polyethylene and polypropylene Uh, for this how uh, uh, the uh, uh, polymerization process uh, moved from heterogeneous catalysis to homogeneous catalysis. And uh, uh, each has its own uh, advantages and the, in the course of the struggle what we had observed that uh, uh, heterogeneous catalysis though exhibited very high activity that is uh, uh, to uh, its advantage. Uh, but uh, on the same time exhibited broad uh, 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 molar mass distribution. Wide polydispersity index or broad distribution. Uh, so, uh, this uh, is seen as a disadvantage and uh, hence because of this uh, the efforts uh, were on to move on to homogeneous catalysis and uh, in the uh, also uh, this broad polymolar mass distribution has been attributed to the presence of multi site catalysis and hence uh, uh, the effort uh, were uh, on to move on to uh, the homogeneous uh, catalysis system and uh, 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 which meant uh, that uh, uh, exactly uh, opposite uh, uh, attributes were uh, wanted uh, for example, Uh, narrow PDI uh, the, so this uh, turns out to be advantage so uh, this is how this disadvantage uh, uh, can be converted to advantage narrow PDI uh, similarly uh, the uh, thing which uh, uh, this offered is uh, multi, uh, single site catalysis and this is also considered to be advantage whereas what uh, in the earlier days what homogeneous catalysis struggled uh, uh, with was uh, uh, low polymerization activity. and this is uh, supposed to be disadvantage so uh, uh, we saw uh, how on moving from 
uh, uh, one moving from uh, oh, homogeneous to heterogeneous, how this disadvantages uh, like uh, single site multi site catalysis uh, could be converted to uh, the uh, respective advantages and uh, uh, this uh, uh, advantage which was of the uh, uh, high performance uh, becoming a disadvantage in case of uh, uh, the homogeneous catalysis. Now, uh, in our study we had also in our study we had also seen that uh, this disadvantage was uh, finally overcome, uh, um, overcome by the work of Kaminsky, overcome by the work of Kaminsky uh, uh, who uh, uh, brought about the advent of methyl alumina oxen MX, uh, 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 alumina oxen MAO uh, and then uh, subsequent improvisation by Mark. Uh, subsequent improvisation by Marx uh, using uh, a boron C6 F5 whole 3 reagent. Uh, this uh, uh, disadvantage of uh, low activity was finally overcome uh, to uh, get a homogeneous catalyst with extremely high activity. So, uh, we had seen uh, the beauty about organometallic chemistry a, a, as to how uh, the things evolved uh, uh, from something heterogeneous uh, uh, to homogeneous uh, where ha uh, it had its advantages in terms of narrow PDI single site catalysis, but it, uh, its sole disadvantage was low activity and which was also finally overcome uh, by the advent of MAO by Kaminsky followed by uh, using uh, boron uh, uh, tripentafluorophenyl methyl boron by Marx uh, which sort of uh, gave uh, a highly active single site catalyst of the structure something like CP2 zirconium uh, methyl CH3 B C6 F5 whole 3. So, this is a del positive uh, del uh, negative. So, this is the catalyst uh, which uh, sort of uh, 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 became the uh, final evolved structure uh, through all of these uh, processes and we had uh, discussed this in great detail uh, in our uh, previous uh, class. In this uh, context uh, also what is uh, important is the fact uh, that uh, this answer be bridged uh, tetrahydroindenyl uh, zirconium catalyst uh, which uh, could give atactic polymer. So, uh, this uh, uh, the catalyst uh, which is drawn over here this uh, Brissenzel catalyst this is called resmic EN for ethylene bridged this ligand is T H I N D tetrahydroindenyl whole twice zirconium dichloride this uh, uh, with MAO in 1 is to 300 uh, ratio uh, uh, could uh, give polymerized propylene at fairly low temperature of 60 degrees centigrade in toluene to give uh, 
etactic uh, uh, polypropylene isotactic polypropylene or IPP. And now, uh, what is uh, uh, important over here is this uh, the question of how and this is extremely high active catalyst uh, uh, up to up to 43,000 kilogram of polypropylene produced per mole of zirconium per hour. So, this extremely uh, high active highly active catalyst uh, which was producing isopropyl uh, isotactic polypropylene and the question uh, is how uh, the question uh, with regard to this is uh, how how is it possible that when we take a, a racemic catalyst uh, uh, that uh, one gets uh, isotactic uh, poly a polypropylene. So, that is that is the main intriguing feature about it uh, and uh, the answer to that uh, is guided by uh, the C2 uh, symmetry. Uh, the answer is provided by the C2 symmetry nature of the catalyst C2. symmetry of catalyst uh, that produced uh, uh, this isotactic uh, for producing uh, isotactic polypropylene. The in this uh, thing it is to be noted that If that is the thing, uh, uh, the rational, then uh, the it is to be noted that uh, a catalyst which is uh, this CP zirconium similar uh, catalyst uh, 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 produce, uh, produced uh, with MAO produce, uh, gave atactic uh, atactic uh, polypropylene. Uh, so, uh, this uh, has a C 2 V a, a symmetry. Now, this uh, is best explained uh, by the presence of uh, C 2 symmetry in the catalyst uh, uh, which renders uh, uh, chirality to the complex. This C 2 C symmetry renders the uh, catalyst and uh, this uh, 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 catalyst uh, which is uh, responsible for for uh, uh, stereospecific insertion. of propane and uh, this uh, is uh, 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 best explained uh, in the diagram shown in the, the next page. Uh, this uh, the catalyst as is given below Uh, the catalyst uh, uh, this uh, zirconium chloride can have uh, uh, when uh, when uh, viewed uh, or when viewed uh, uh, from uh, this side uh, can 
sort of be represented by uh, the following two diagram. as is uh, shown below. as is shown below and the, uh, so uh, uh, this is bound to zirconium and it can have two uh, sides, maybe I will draw with a different ink. It can have two sides one something like this and the other side is a vacant site where the olefin can come and bind and I draw the same structure over here. as is drawn over here, uh, this again will have polymer as is shown over here and a vacant site. Now, the question is that a polypropylene when it uh, approaches uh, this catalyst, how would it occupy or bind at this site? So, possibility is there are two possibilities. One possibility is when a propylene comes, it will approach in this fashion and would sit in the vacant site in the fashion shown as opposed to it can also approach in this fashion and occupy the vacant site and in a fashion like this. Now, a careful look would uh, quickly reveal that this uh, orientation is less favorable uh, because of steric repulsion 
between uh, the methyl group and the polymer chain rendering this uh, uh, approach to be unfavorable. Whereas, compared to relative to this, this approach where the methyl groups are further apart, this becomes the favorable orientation of approach uh, in terms of uh, the energy and hence these results in discrimination of the two phases, enantio phases of propylene of propylene giving isotactic polypropylene. So, uh, this is how uh, this uh, resmic uh, catalyst with C2 symmetry steers uh, the approach of propylene to give isotactic uh, polypropylene. Now, this uh, uh, is best summarized uh, by a mechanism uh, which is popularly called as a windshield uh, wiper mechanism. which is popularly called as windshield wiper mechanism and is uh, illustrated below. This is the catalyst. Bound to zirconium. And this is how the two ligands are connected. Now, on one side, I will use a different color is bound to zirconium with the methyl moiety pointed in this direction and other side it is bound to a polymer chain which exhibit C alpha H agastic interaction. So, there is a special interaction over here which is called this interaction is called C alpha H zirconium agostic interaction. Now, when this catalyst uh, uh, when olefin is bound in this fashion. Uh, the uh, first uh, the migratory insertion of propylene occurs and uh, the whole chain shifts to the other side and a molecule of propylene then binds on the uh, uh, opposite side to what is shown over here. This is best illustrated by the diagram shown over here. zirconium as is shown and then uh, 
and then again uh, we will illustrate. Now the polymer chain has shifted to the other side and the insertion has happened as it is shown over here and in this side a second propylene is bound. So, what one sort of notices over here that as the insertion and binding of propylene happens the polymer moves from one side to other and this is what is called the windshield wiper mechanism. And subsequently again uh, the another insertion happens with uh, the propylene being bound and the, the catalyst as is shown here with zirconium and and the ethylene again comes to this side and in this side the polymer chain uh, uh, grows and this is how the insertion uh, the reaction prepares to give isopolypropylene. So, this windshield uh, wiper mechanism uh, is very much evident uh, by the fact that the stereochemistry of the polymer chain goes from one side of the catalyst to the other and uh, 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 the configuration uh, sort of uh, remains the same as it flips over. So, this is uh, this uh, windshield wiper uh, uh, mechanism and this is stabilized uh, or this is propagated by the presence of this zirconium uh, uh, alpha CH uh, a, a agostic interaction which helps it propagate uh, to give isotactic uh, polymer. So, uh, um, polypropylene. So, with this uh, we have seen how uh, the single site catalyst uh, 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 is uh, improved homogeneous to give uh, polypropylene of high stereospecificity and how symmetry plays a great role uh, uh, in distinguishing between the phase uh, enantiophase phase of the propylene that alpha olefin that approaches and results in highly regular uh, uh, stereoregular structure uh, producing poly, uh, poly uh, isopropylene in uh, high stereospecificity. So, with this uh, 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 we have also seen uh, the role of uh, ANSA uh, 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 ligand which has a, a, a bridging uh, ligand how it helps uh, in uh, opening up uh, uh, the uh, cyclopentadienyl ring uh, for better approach of the polymer chain and uh, the catalysis. So, more of this uh, uh, and this is a very nice uh, demonstration of uh, good thinking in chemistry how it can lead to catalyst improvement. So, uh, more of this uh, uh, catalyst development on the polymerization uh, uh, mechanism of our polypropylene as we take this topic uh, in a uh, bit more detail when we meet in the next class. I once again thank you for being with me in this class where we discussed uh, uh, the various uh, stereospecific addition of propylene to give polypropylene and how uh, there has been improvement in the catalyst uh, structure. Uh, uh, as uh, one went about uh, correcting uh, things in terms of polymer requirement and demand and the properties and more of this discovery on polypropylene would continue as we take this topic uh, up in bit more detail when we meet in the next class. Till then uh, goodbye and thank you.